Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my first video. So in this uh, video, I'm gonna try to go through uh, Google Tag Manager and see if we can figure out how to track iframe clicks because the last couple of years, um, sometimes you'll have a chat bot or you might have something else on the website that runs off an iframe, like say a form or something like that. And you just wanna get some data feedback from clicks on iframe containers and it's really difficult. Um, there's some workarounds you need. So in this video, I'm gonna to try to go through that and then see if we can figure that out. I mean, obviously I figured it out, so um, we'll get straight to it. So first of all, this is taken from uh, this website they, that I came across, uh, eSegment. I think he has a YouTube video as well, which you can check it out for yourself. But I, found, I felt that, you know, maybe um, I can redo this whole process. Um, you know, just, just, just for myself and, and you know, if, if you benefit, you benefit. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing is um, we want to use this uh, script tag that we can add to Google Tag Manager. So basically what this is saying, it's a, it's a script, it's a function that you run. Um, there's a focus that, so you set the focus to the full window um, and there's a couple things you have to do. So let's, let's first let me do this. Let's, let's copy this. Let's go to Google Tag Manager and then let's go to tags. So the first thing you wanna do is create a tag. So I already did it for you. The first thing you do is you, you create a tag just like you would normally create a tag, title it, whatever. And you wanna go here and you wanna click on custom HTML and then paste this here. And then, um, so because I already did that, we'll go to the one that I created, which is um, this tag here. Um, and there's a couple of things that are different from what you saw here, right? The first things first is we set everything like it is as you as you see here, um, and then you'll if you take a look at this here. So notice how in this piece of code it says iframe, right? But here you can see I added some other uh, another string right beside iframe. So what you want to do is um, you want to add the the ID, either the ID of that iframe or you want to add the class of the iframe. So the way you would find that is go to any page that you actually have an iframe. So you wanna either on Chrome or uh, Edge, and I use Edge, so you can do Control Shift I, or the other way if that doesn't work is you can go to, you, go, you can go click on these, um, this thing here, um, and then click on more tools, and then you'll see um, developer tools. So Control Shift I, let's go there. And if you don't know where the iframe is, um, You'll well, you'd have you'd obviously have to know where the iframe is on the page. Uh, so I know where the iframe is. It's, it's this chat um, icon here. So what you want to do is click on this and then click on the actual iframe, and you'll notice that it goes to this button, this button tag here. Right? And if you scroll, just, uh, if you just go up a little bit more, you'll see that this button tag belongs to this iframe container. So if you click on, let me just expand this a little bit. But if you if you click on, if if you see iframe, you can also see. Um, there's usually either a class or there's an ID. Now, if there isn't any class or ID, uh, you should probably contact your developer. Or if you have access to um, this iframe, then you should be able. You should, you know. Um, normally, we don't have access to the iframe, so you might have actually have to contact um, whatever. You know, if if it's a chatbot, then you have to contact uh, the chatbot um, organization or company to add a class. But generally, they all have classes. So what you want to do is you want to just take any of these classes copy it, um, and if it's an ID, you copy the ID. Go back to Google Tag Manager, and what you wanna do is if it's an ID, you put a hashtag, right? And if it's a class, you wanna put a, a dot there, um, which, which basically points to the actual class name uh, of this container. The other thing you want to do is you wanna name this GA event. So in Google Analytics 4, um, they usually follow this naming convention where you have a name underscore name, like it's basically in that convention. Um, normally you wanna make this kind of des descriptive. So the way I would approach it is um, I would probably, you know, uh, iframe underscore click underscore say Genesis or something like that. Um, so Genesis as in this one or whatever you want, or you can leave it as iframe click um, up to you. Um, if, if you. If you create, if you set it at iframe click, that would denote any iframe clicks. And if you want a specific um, iframe click, then you do like iframe underscore click underscore whatever that I specific iframe is. The rest you can basically leave as it as it is. Um, if you know JavaScript, I'm not 
an expert. Uh, I know enough to sort of get by. Um, I would just leave this as is. Um, but if, if, you, if you know what you're doing, then yeah, go, feel free to, to, to play around with this. So you want to leave, leave this as GA event and you want to leave the event name as uh, GA event name. Um, this is the, we're going to use this event name later on. So I'm going to discard the changes because I already did that. So if you scroll back here, the second step uh, is um, scroll back. So basically everything here is just what I explained. The next thing is you want to trigger. So you want to create a custom trigger um, that I believe it takes a, so hold on one sec. Um, where was it? Uh, GA event. So yeah, you want to create a custom event trigger. So let's go back to uh, Google Tag Manager. If you go to triggers, um, I already did this for you, but basically you just go to click on new and uh, create a new trigger, but let's just go to the one I created. So basically what you're doing is you click on the new trigger, you create a new trigger, you name it um, something like, you know, something descriptive. And then you want to make sure that you click on trigger type. So it'll be like, click on new, uh, and then you want to go all the way to the bottom and it'll say custom event. So you want to make sure it's a custom event. Um, but because I already did it, we'll just stick to the one that I did, uh, which is a custom event. Click on that. You want to make sure that the event name is exactly as you found it in the first piece of JavaScript code. So you want to make sure that it's a GA event G, a capital G, capital A, capital E event. Um, and you, uh, so you want to click on the, so that's basically that you save it. Once you click on that, the next step, and if we go back here, the next step would be to actually create a GA4 event. Um, so just to, to recap, we created a tag uh, that um, uh, you know runs a custom HTML that gets some data layer, uh, data layer variable. Um, and then we created a trigger, uh, and the trigger is based on this event name that's found in the first tag. And the third thing you wanna do is create a GA4 uh, event tag. So normally you do that, you just press new, uh, name it, whatever you name it, and then click on Google Analytics and then uh, Google Analytics GA4 event. Um, so again, because I already did that, let's go to the one I created, which is this one here. So I basically named it something descriptive, iframe click tracking GA4 event. And um, uh, yeah, and then what you wanna do is uh, you wanna make sure that you have GA4 event. You want to have the measurement ID. So the measurement ID can be found in your Google Analytics container. So um, let me just log in quickly um, to the one that I have. So if you go to, uh, you know, just uh, hold on one second. <clears throat> um, sorry, one second. Uh, so yeah, if you go to admin, and if you go to data stream and click on your data stream here, and it's just this measurement ID that you can copy and paste. So you can just copy that, go back to Google Tag Manager and just paste that in. And then what you wanna do is you wanna create a event name that you can then push to GA4. The event name is basically a data layer variable, which, you know, so the event name is in the first tag we created. That collect um, a data layer variable, then, then we can push to the data layer, and then we can use that as a variable to then push to Google Analytics 4. So the way you, you, you wanna do this is just basically, this would be empty here. So you wanna click on this plus icon here, and then just go click on plus at the top right, uh, name it, you know, DLV and something like, you know, uh, iframe trackers or something like that, and then click on this. And what you wanna do is, uh, you wanna go scroll, uh, sorry, where was that again? Data layer variable. And you want to make sure that it's, um, I think it's just event name, right? But let me just make sure that I didn't make a mistake there. If you just click on this, um, actually, we'll go to the, yeah, we'll go here. So you want to make sure that you just, yeah, event name, and then you just save it. Uh, and so you'll have, uh, you'll have this event, GA4 event. Uh, with the data layer variable, and you want to make sure that you click on trigger. And you want to make sure that the, you you choose a trigger that you created just a moment ago, which is the one I just created, which is the iframe click tracking. And yeah, that's basically it. You save you save that, and the next steps would just to be to test it. If if you click on preview and test it, 